And now it's transmitting everything. So the, yeah. I'm not sure that that and this is where you go look at it on yeah. your yeah. website. So it might be too busy. Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we will tell you to turn to that time of the stream. Are you feeling on your knee? You should probably form a line to my immediate left and sign in and reinvest in America today because we need more work and harder work of it too. Sign up, line up, and reinvest today. Uh, uh, not thank you. I thought your name was Jack. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. We'll be with you in just a moment. Yeah, we're just uh, 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 organizing the people revolution. People don't want you to keep your sound going. Because there's a 30-second delay. And you I always like to go up there and watch myself come back and sit down and just watch what I do. Yeah. 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 I made, made a point of looking at both of them. Yeah, and you had you had my name and your name in the subject. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I could them and I went. Okay. Because yeah. oh, okay. I, 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 yeah. I was looking for That's that. Right. I should see it. I should see Quart it. Quite an amazing. Oh, okay. Let's exchange folders. You'll say, I'm sending it right now. Talk about that. Why are you pointing at them? No, we might be cutting off a little bit. Sorry, you won't be <laughs> so, that's a problem. So, I'm kind of cultivating the Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. Oh, yeah. I find it for this. If I can have you provide an attention as opposed to your product, if I have attention. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to Sacred Grounds, the longest running poetry open mic that we know of in the known and unknown universe. Fine poetry and good food since 1972. That is a long time ago. I'm your host, Daniel Brady. I've only been doing this for a couple of years now, but this place has been like here in like more than 40 years. Same night, same place, people. Uh, there is no Peachy this evening. Sally loves Saunders is still not feeling as quite as well as she might, but I told her I would keep it to the last possible moment. So we do not have a Peachy. If you're enjoying the food, give a pleasant round to Fiona and Teddy back there. They are the hosts. Yeah. Without them, you wouldn't be listening to me. You'd probably be home looking at your belly button until it becomes as big as a wash. Huh? My friend used to say that. I never understood what he meant. Uh, so everybody has about five minutes. When we come up here, you got to be respecting that, we hope. And I have a few announcements. First, there's going to be a benefit uh, on December 7th for uh, the Haight-Ashbury Liter Literary Journal. And it's an artist DP kind of thing, so if you really want to go, you can let me know and I will tell you who to call. It's, um, I'm trying to remember, uh, but who's the main, the main editor? Uh, Alice 
Rogoff. I have her phone number. You call. You talk to me. I'll give her your, her phone number. You can call her and say you want to come. She'll let you. She'll organize that. She doesn't want to have a wild crowd just showing up there. It's going to be a potluck, I think. And this is uh, the song, Phil Oaks song night. The details here, it says, doors at 7.30, show at 8 o'clock, Saturday, November 16th, St. Cyprian's, Turk at Lyon, California, San Francisco, California. And the poster was by Mississippi Mike, so in case you want to know who did this. And um, last thing is, of course, the huge number of wonderful door prizes. So, <clears throat> we have two copies of the, the Curvature of Blue by Lucille Lang Day. She was here, the feature here last week. She gave me a couple of these to give away. Very nice. Death Kick by H.P. Moe. A lot here. Thank you so much. Longing for Elsewhere, My Irish Voyage Through Hunger History at High Times by Renee Gibbons. I don't, I'm not familiar with this. This is from Stephen Mackett's collection. Not from Stephen Mackin's collections. I think yeah, maybe it was. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, Zara Rob Frackus at Asylum. She's featured here a couple of times over the years. It's very good stuff. If you like uh, Leonardo da Vinci, this is the Codex of the, the Codex Light Chester, and I think nice art in here. Beautiful artwork, explanatory drawings, details, history of particular paintings. Very nice. Stephen Mackett. And also from Stephen Mackett, Nicholas. Can you say that? Poussin. Uh, drawings, art, explications. Very, very beautiful. I was almost thinking I should keep this, but you know, I, I have so many books now through Nikhil Barkle. So there we go. And, and there's one. Move announcement. If you like Seamus Haney, if you're interested in that, uh, November 19th, 6 p.m., fourth floor of the Mechanics Institute, San Francisco. All the details are here. There are going to be people who knew him, worked with him, and you will probably hear some of his poems and have a nice time there. It's very interesting. $15 for people who are not members. So this is here for most people who are interested. And I'm going to go look at the uh, sign in sheet, please. Oh, the mini feature is one of the prizes I forgot about. Notice how I colored it up so it's short. Oh, it's very nice. Very beautiful. I remember just about everything. So, uh, the first five we have Jonathan, Buford, Lewis, Jack, and Owen. So, Jonathan, come on up here, dear, and knock us out of the park. Number one, nice round of applause. short poems tonight. Get really close to the first point. one's called Nicaragua Revolution. Nicaragua Volcano Revolution. Unkempt reality. Horses with blinders. Robust rotting cathedrals. Women walking on knees to the altar. Tropical lightning over old battlefields. Somoza's bullets and the sand beneath the rain. Rivera's satellite wins liberation rolling over years of the conscious complaint. My rebel teacher, without hands, the language explains, the sun, the markets, the squares, jungles of shops pouring into streets, police brutality, machismo catastrophe, Christian bars and nightclubs, Heineken girls, iguana tales. It's the mango monsoon in the town of Lyon. The dusty revolution has won. <laughs> My second poem is called Gargoyle Dreams. Gargoyle Dreams, I'm half asleep. My demon presses me into the sheets, paralyzing me, fighting to breathe. Jesus, come rescue me. Sometimes the Hail Mary works. Some Catholic priest hears my confession. Salt is in the air. Soon I'm speeding down the highway with angry, stubborn thoughts. My peace forever held. My tongue might as well be ripped out. Honor now just the memory. A dream of distant lands, some desert purgatory of death, the adventure I crave, 
Tibetan plateaus seem keen of injuring all thoughts of self. I must find Shangri-La, resurfaced from the tomb of my mind. Pure black nirvana, release me from the eternal night. I slip into underground caverns. On the boats I'm serenaded, some, somewhere below Notre Dame, and its hunchback hero, macabre majesty. I remember another life, the opera house, a girlfriend and the phantom of the opera. Now I fight against an ungraceful cocoon, yearning for my past splendor. Can I run through this chain, break the barrier back to life? I'm humble before the throne of Christ, knowing nothing is free in this world. <laughs> my last poem is called 007. James Bond engulfs my brain, miasmic contagion injected into my arteries. Take me to Hong Kong, take me to Japan. A cantankerous Cold War display. Cairo, Delhi, Venice, and Rio. The list goes on and on. Connery, Moore, Dalton, and Brosnan. The life we all want to live. Endemic airplanes vituperate my escapades. The secret police, the FBI, call to say hi. Fountains of fantasies marinate in my mind. Take me to Tangier, take me to Vienna. Emboss my travels with vodka martinis, shaken, not stirred. Jesus Christ competes with his name. Condemn my cow rugby domain. I'm a lifeless corpse on medicine. I pray for matrimony or expatriate fame. 007, you ease my pain. That's it. We have Buford, then Lewis, then Jack, Owen, Ann, Stephanie, Margaret E. And Boss Tweed. <laughs> this is called Give a Little. Give a little extra effort. Don't complain so much. When you're studying, concentrate. Listen to your coworker. She has a lot to say. That may save you. <laughs> This is called Old Peacenik Marches and Veterans Day Parade. I held a big banner walking down Market Street with a couple of other people. Once a woman and a man, and as the woman dropped out in favor of the rest, she went. My friend, the first woman to be the commander of the American Legion post here in San Francisco, I believe, and an abused woman, led the parade as, as we all followed her with an anti-war message on the banners. A couple at least, including the one I carry, touting Bradley Manning, who recently received 35 years in federal prison for giving away, quote, secrets, unquote. The federal government didn't want given away about the abuse put upon prisoners at Abu Ghraib prison. I was happy to be in this parade, one of the few non-veterans, I'm pretty sure. The anti-war American Legion commander found it, found it interesting I did not serve in the military, but I'm asthmatic and, and doubt that it would have been healthy for me to be in the humid Vietnamese jungle. I told my workmate at the San Francisco Unified Schools High School that I didn't serve, and he said he was from Hawaii, and for some reason that kept him from serving, the reason I can't remember now. He said he was sorry he didn't get to serve, and I reassured him that he was lucky. I don't think he dealt with that too well. After the parade, I was standing at Van Ness Avenue, where the parade ended, and Balboa High's R ROTC marched as the last participant in this parade. I'm a teacher's aide at Balboa. The truth about the whole thing is that I adore the woman who commands the American Legion in question, and a couple of, event, of events that have reminded me too much of war and the military in general have bothered me. Love commands. Thank you. A nice round for Lewis coming up here, please. Uh, <laughs> 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 
maybe take back your applause for a moment here. Uh, I think of Shakespeare and uh, if we muses have offended, think of this guy in all his mended. This is called Gothic Romance. Her words were not birds in a cool blue sky. That's tender shit, she said. What's tender shit, I asked. Your big dick, she said. Xana is pure sweetness. We get, began kissing, but the wounds through her lips clashed with spikes through mine. It was dubious battle for a while. But I got in a few good kisses and I bit her lips so hard she squealed. Then I went for honey, fumbling around between her legs for the entry point to heaven or hell or whatever. Tonight I wanted to see stars. Ah, she mouthed. I love your thing inside of mine. Snakes and rakes, worms and sperm. I had at last succeeded in inserting my newly pierced organ inside of her already pierced one. She looked in heaven or the other place, but I hoped she was not in pain or even bleeding from the ten number three fish hooks I had had pierced into my penis earlier in the day. The barbells through the lips of her vagina were only gouging me swipe.